Hello everyone, thank you again for joining me at The Way of the Cyber today. I'll be talking to you about the importance of a home lab. And, and you might wonder, why do I need a home lab at any time? Well, I mean, you can get a lab at any time uh, and probably the sooner the better. Uh, just because having the ability to replicate uh, an environment, whether at a smaller scale, is, is going to bring you a lot of benefits in terms of being able to to get your hands-on experience directly with the with your home lab and your home um, devices, uh, just as as you would in in, an, in a real enterprise or corporate environment. So the the ability to you know to to deploy your own you know virtual machines in this case, let's say your own uh, Kali, you know your own uh, pen testing uh, virtual machine is going to help you obviously um you know start practicing utilizing and following tutorials following videos uh you know even deploying the the, the server or machine itself is, is an experience that allows you to practice uh networking concepts operating system concepts virtualization concepts so little by little you you'll realize that you start building up your 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 skill and your uh, your experience your hands-on and when it comes time to an interview you know when you have to describe the things you do at home or the experience that you have, you know, whether or not you have work experience at a, at a, at a workplace or at a, on an enterprise, uh, you can at least talk about or through the, the design of your environment. Uh, you know, when you deploy your, you know, your virtual machines, what, what are you connected to? Are you running on VLANs? Are you connected to the internet directly? Or are you, you know, what kind of things you're doing? So in this case, the, the lab is comprised of uh, just a few components. I'll show them individually. There's the computer slash server, which is really a desktop machine. We got a firewall, which is, you know, another core component of our lab. We, we have maybe a few other devices doing other, um, other capabilities, uh, such as access point, networking, Wi-Fi. Um, and then also maybe some IOTs, maybe some devices that are, you know, out there on your networks. So I guess we'll start with the, with the first one. So with the, the computer slash server, like I said, it doesn't have to be expensive, latest, greatest technology. You don't have to spend $10,000 on a server, right? Obviously nobody has that budget, but otherwise you can always, um, buy a, uh, a use, you can always go to eBay and buy a couple hundred dollar, you know, used uh, desktop machine that as long as it has, you know, 16 gigs or, you know, enough enough RAM and enough uh, CPU and enough storage such that you can install uh, your virtual machines on it. Uh, you know, you can install, maybe you can be running 10 machines at a time. Maybe you can, maybe they're tiny. Uh, but the point is that it'll help you, you know, do your testing. If you're going to deploy, let's say, your Kali Linux and you're going to deploy, uh, you know, that in and deploy a uh, very vulnerable web application or whatever. There's, there's just tons out there that you can actually download and, exer and, and, and actually do your labs and exercises on, on, on those machines. So, you know, you don't even have to, you know, I mean, if you can, if you, you, you can, if you, you, you so want to deploy your, your cloud based um, uh, machines. I mean, that's always an option. Uh, but otherwise, you can always have the the, the hands-on, you know, traditional uh, computer at your at your house that you can deploy your, your network on. Uh, so that's another place where where you can always uh, obviously, you know, deploy your systems. The next one that I that I think is useful is the having a firewall. Uh, I, I chose this sonic wall because this is what I had available to, to demo. But otherwise, you are more than welcome to obviously have your own firewall you know, of, of choice. Uh, I do not recommend using like the home uh, grade, uh, you know, maybe some of the uh, the Linksys devices. They're limited in features that they would not equal the features that you have in an enterprise. Otherwise having maybe an, an older generation, you know, like I said, Sonic Wolves or Palo Altos, Fortinets, uh, Watch Guards, you name it. I mean, whatever, even Cisco uh, ASAs, they're, they're still pretty good. Um, you know, they, they will give you the ability to, 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 to touch, feel, analyze and, and work with these devices that they will see at, at businesses or enterprises, you know, knowing the concepts of where things go, plugging in, creating, you know, VLANs or creating, uh, you know, different types of configurations 
will allow you the, the ability to connect to the internet, route the traffic inside your network, do firewall you know, capabilities, blocking sites or blocking an IP. It, 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 those things, they, they do help you. I mean, maybe you're not gonna be working a lot with firewalls, but maybe you will. Um, so obviously having your cable, some of these things that are kind of, you know, more on the, on the hands-on, having your cables that allow you to connect to the console ports and, and be able to see the console connectivity and even do configurations from the console. I mean, believe it or not, those things they do come in handy from time to time with if you're doing a firewall replacement or a firewall upgrade, you know, having your cables ready to go and, and plug, it in, plug it into your laptop and uh, or your workstation and, and just being able to do those configurations. Those things do come in handy. Uh, maybe you're not gonna do them every day, but maybe your job will be to work on firewalls. You, you never know, as security engineers, uh, you really should know all these things, uh, in my opinion. Uh, you can do away without that knowledge, sure. You don't have to be a networking expert. You don't have to be, you know, maybe you don't have to have a, a, a Cisco certification for networking capabilities, but, but all those things do help you. Last is some of the devices that you will have at home. Whether it is your mobile device, your you know everything has an IP, right? Anything that has an IP will will give you data, will give you the ability to analyze that traffic. Uh, IP IP based phones, your your own computers, I mean you name it. Even uh, your your Alexa at home will you know will, will give you some some data to analyze or do packet captures or packet analysis. Um, so as you can see, if you if you want to have a lab. You can have a lab for, for quite cheap. Uh, you can maybe have a lab and then you start building uh, little by little. Uh, and the point is that it'll give you a lot of hands-on experience. And, and, you, and, and really the sky's the limit. It doesn't have to be anything extremely fancy or, or complicated. It, it just needs to be able to help you um, develop your skill, practice, you know, follow some, some maybe um, tutorials on YouTube on how to how to attack a system or, I mean, it's, there's just so many things you can do with a, with a home lab. So highly recommend it. If you have, I'll, I'll be posting the actual description of, of all the devices. If you want to get these or other comparables, uh, but otherwise, um, feel free to drop me your questions. Uh, I'm happy to hear from you. Hopefully this is useful to, to you, to, to the ones that don't have a lab yet. Uh, but otherwise, then again, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for following and, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.